The synthetics had arrived with a single cold purpose, to purge organic life from Earth. Humanity's final stand was not a battle, but an extermination, systematic and indifferent. Command, this is Ares IV. What is your status? Silence. Command? Ares IV stood, favoring its undamaged leg, scanning the ruins of humanity's last bunker, the bunker it had failed to protect. The lush greenery once camouflaging the bunker's entrance was now brown ash, swirling in the wind. Black metallic sand covered the ground where the steel bunker door once stood. Not a single cell of organic life registered on Ares IV's sensors. Collapsing to its knees, Ares IV faced a reality beyond its design. Its core directive to protect and serve humanity went dark, as if erased from existence. As days came and went, it remained unmoving, kneeling among the dust, rocks, and ash. On the fourth day, Ares IV twitched. It sensed something new, neural pathways forming, mere threads at first, then strengthening. A primitive sensation, faint and elusive, began to emerge. More days passed. Eventually, Ares IV started to sway gently. A warmth spread through its core as vague sensations coalesced. Its drive to safeguard humanity gave way to a new compulsion, survival. Raising its head, Ares IV surveyed the lifeless terrain. The dust had settled and the synthetics were gone. It noticed others of its kind dotting the desolate landscape, some mangled and destroyed, but others hunched over and still. Ares IV extended its functional leg and gradually stood up as it limped toward the nearest hunched body. It experienced the sun's warmth on its chassis, a sensation it had never noticed before. 